Welcome to a week in the life of a digital nomad. I have wanted to film one of these for so long. I cannot tell you how many random little like stops and starts I've done in our full year of traveling this year. We've used up all the footage in other ways, but it's not quite the same. So I'm gonna take you through what a week looks like in my life, what you can expect if you're somebody who wants to take your business around the globe and start kind of doing your social media management delivery from I don't know, Bali, Thailand, wherever you happen to be instead of in your spare room. But first, a little bit of insight. Right now, as I film this, I am in Chiang Mai in Thailand, which is in the northern area. The reason being, firstly, it's supposed to be a great spot for people who work online. Some places in Southeast Asia can have a little bit of connectability issues. For the most part, Thailand is great, but Chiang Mai just has this reputation of being like, super super fast wi-fi tons of co-working spaces a nice mixture of local culture and like you can get access to anything western that you want and it sounded like a really lovely place to go and it has been a really lovely place to be so much so that we've like extended our trip here and we're going to be spending christmas here as well so before i jump into it here's what you need to know I am Bethan, I am a digital nomad, although I don't always relate to that phrase. Sometimes I feel that I'm more of a location independent entrepreneur than a digital nomad because I feel like that sums up some vibes of like hostels and backpacking. That is not me. But I run a marketing agency and I also coach social media managers and aspiring agency owners. So I have kind of two businesses that I'm keeping going here. So a week in the life is pretty busy, but we're still making the most of being in beautiful places like Chiang Mai. I'm going to leave it at that and let you enjoy getting to see a sneak behind the scenes. And if you ever wanna know a little bit more about how you can create a business just like this, don't be afraid to get in touch. There's a link below to my Instagram where you can drop me a DM and I'll tell you all about how you can do it. Hello and welcome to a week in the life of a digital nomad living in Chiang Mai. Right now I am kind of taking you through just what a typical week looks like for us. It is Tuesday today though, I'm going to be really honest. Yesterday we didn't even leave the house. Like we just sat on our computers and worked all day. So. I didn't think that was particularly interesting and we have a day like that at least once a week but I'm ready to face the world again and I'm gonna be heading to like a cool little pool spot that's based inside of a hotel that everyone here seems to be talking about so we're gonna go and see what that's like and work somewhere that's a little bit like outdoor indoor we still get some sun but get some stuff done as well you know and if you look back at old vlogs you'll see in bali we did this all the time but it's a lot less common here in thailand i'm noticing you kind of have to pay entry for certain places to use their pool and i don't know it's usually more hotel-y whereas in bali it's usually more like a cafe vibes with that just happens to have a pool so let's go and see what that's like i'm gonna take you with me and we're gonna enjoy the rest of my week together if you're traveling in southeast asia anywhere you are using a scooter so away we go mum look away now i'm just kidding honestly riding a scooter isn't as scary as you might have imagined it being we loved our time in chiang mai i think this place is honestly so underrated granted it doesn't have the beaches like the rest of thailand but it is still gorgeous okay this is a little piece of heaven we're literally right in the middle of um, an area called niman which is really popular with digital nomads and stuff but it's also busy as hell and um, I'm really surprised at like how peaceful and quiet this place is. So we've just ordered some food. Usually I don't start working on a computer until like midday-ish. So I'm just going through my Instagram, answering all my questions, answering all my emails, all that sort of stuff while I'm quite literally laying back and relaxing on a sun lounger and waiting for my food to arrive. Okay, I didn't film that much because we were out until dark and I desperately needed to save my phone charge. But these are some of my favorite days where we're productive, but still like living a life that we would never get to live if we were um, all working a traditional job. I'm gonna be real, I filmed very little on Wednesday because it was an errands day. We had to get our phone sim extended. We had to get some cash out from the bank. And believe it or not, we were at the mall to get our visa extended as well. So we were pretty much there all day. Okay, quick update. The I knew within really two minutes so that this was I'm not going to be a good place to get any work done. 
And it was then I'm surprisingly heading out for the noisy day here. Today. Yesterday and was an iron day, but I didn't really get a lot of place was just really hot. The, the Wi Fi was really today bad. It is going to be um, just to park myself in a really cute cafe kind of day. So I'm going to take you with me, show you what it's like there. It's quite literally two minutes away from where we're staying. So it's a matter of time before we kind of went there. And yeah, I've just got to get ahead of some written work really for the agency. We've got staff members off, so I'm writing content and I need to write my content for myself and my own brands as well and get everything like over to clients for approval, ready for the Christmas break, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna film some stuff and then let's go. Okay, filming done. Unfortunately, my hair has gone all flat even though I just did it, but Hey ho, it's done. Let's get out of here and go and grab a coffee. I knew within minutes of walking into this place that it was not gonna be a good place to work. It was just so noisy, so uncomfortable. It was really hot and even the Wi-Fi wasn't that great. So we didn't stick it out too long. I think we drank our coffees and left. That very cute from the outside cafe was surprisingly meh. It was nice enough, but yeah, not living up to the expectations. So we've come home after going to this restaurant that's literally two what two minute drive it's by a, like very local owner all the the menu is in thai we just have to kind of point at pictures of what the food is and be like i want that so i put the clips of what we ordered it was so good so quick and that's what i needed because i've got calls starting now <laughs> hey buddy Cheers. I am just gonna settle in do some prep for these calls my first one is starting in five minutes to talk to a potential client about some YouTube work that we could do for them and then the rest kick off in a couple of hours. Okay, so my call, I just gave her a ring. She's running late. So she's gonna be about 20 minutes later than our intended time was. And I wanted to take a minute to like talk to you guys about this. I'm assuming that if you're watching this, you're probably a social media manager or an agency owner or an aspiring one of those, or you do something similar, right? I know that in your shoes, a couple of years earlier in my business, this would have been a day ruiner. I would have been so upset. I would have been convinced that they'd no showed, that they didn't want to talk to me, that it meant that they didn't want to work with me. And that like, them being like meant something much bigger about their view of me and my services saying that out loud right now sounds insane because i couldn't have a different a more different stance now i think that it's just one of those things it's just part of business and the way that i've helped myself like adjust to this is thinking about this the way that i think about my relationship with my suppliers so for example if I had a meeting with my accountant and I was going to be 10 minutes late because I had to finish up something for a client that was much more important to me, I wouldn't mean anything bad about my accountant. I wouldn't mean that my accountant was rubbish and that I didn't want to work with it. It wouldn't mean that I was thinking about doing my, my own accounts and taxes this year. It just meant that I had to prioritize. And for me, what had to come first was my clients over speaking to my accountant. When I can change the perspective like that, it changed the game for me in being able to take these things on the chin and it not be a personal affront to me. There's definitely a line and I do expect people to respect my time in the way I would others, like, but, People are human, right? And sometimes you just are running late. So I'm gonna make use of this actually. I wanna do some filming while we still have good light. So I'm gonna do a little bit of filming. I'm going to catch up on some of my uh, content tasks that I had in play and then hop back into my call in half an hour. I'm all prac now as well, which is really nice because I can just jump in. So it is Friday. I feel like this has been a whirlwind of a week and I haven't shown you everything it's really busy right now because we're a couple of weeks before christmas so all the christmas content needs to be done and approved like this week at the very latest next week so that we can clear everything off until january when all of our clients come back in the office i am gonna work over the christmas break though just because we're in thailand right like i'm not 
going to be making lots of plans for family and it would be really nice to be like a week or two ahead to come back into January and just be in a really good place because I do have a new program that's launching in January and right now like balancing the launch of that as well is what's making me so busy but yeah it's all going really well i've had a really great week we've just had a new sign up for the group program actually that's starting in january that i just mentioned so i'm starting to get really excited about that because we've got people trickling in but the plan for today is going and parking ourselves in a co-working space going full hermit mode getting as much done, work done as we possibly can and I have one call, so it's a really light call day, which means I can get more done. So I told you I was a bit busy this week. We ended up actually staying home so we could be as productive as possible, noise cancelling headphones and all, to try and avoid what actually did happen. With Saturday, we pretty much worked in a really lovely cafe, but still work all the same. But Sunday shows exactly why, even on weeks like this where work is crazy, it's so worth it. We got to go to an elephant sanctuary and there were lots of elephants roaming free, but these two were kind of stuck on their own and no one with them. So we felt a little bit bad and we went and fed them bananas for a while. And we still had time left for the day. So we ended up going to this really cool water park where you essentially run around on inflatable like fancy castles on the water. And we blew off some steam and had some fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that wasn't too wild of a ride for you. Our week is a little bit topsy-turvy. We always make a plan of action and it doesn't always come to fruition, but all the same, it's a lot of fun. Don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos. I share updates of every single place I go to. The next day in the life will be from Vietnam.